Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is an edited video of fecal emulsification of a cataract with anterior capsular fibrosis. You can see this is a mature white cataract and there is some whitish sheet just underneath the anterior capsule. So let us see how the surgery goes. The main incision has been made. This is a side port on the right side of the main incision and on more side port is being made on the left side of the main incision. The side ports are about two and a half to three o'clock hours away from the main incision. Now an air bubble is injected. Underneath this air bubble tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. And as the dye is applied, we can see some wrinkling of the anterior capsules and we can very clearly see the fibrous bands just underneath the anterior capsule. It involves the anterior capsule. The anterior capsule is adherent to this fibrous sheet. The dye is washed out and now the biggest challenge in this case is capsular excess. The antechamber is filled up with a viscoelastic substance. This is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now I'm taking a 26 gauge band needle. As I incise the anterior capsule, some fluid comes out. So this is an intumescent cataract with anterior capsular fibrosis. Now the fluid can be aspirated without a minerexis in such cases. These cases the Argentine flag sign doesn't occur because the on the way there is some fibrosis. So the visco is again used to fill up the anterior chamber. Now I take a uterator forceps and now my plan is to go around the fibrous tissue and do a rexis of adequate size. In some places it may go near the margin of the people but here at four o'clock the fibrous band this one this four o'clock band goes to equator so we cannot go up to equator and come back we have to try to bring the capsule back over the fibrosis and it has come out but this is not an adequate size trixis. So I try to make a tear here, but this doesn't happen. Now I inject some more SPMC and take a Vana scissor. And now I take the uterita again and here it goes. This is going up to here and now I have to come back. It has come back but see the fibrous band is firmly adherent to the capsule. Without, if I pull too much, there will be a genular dialysis. So I take a Vana scissor and cut the fibrous band here. So this has been a continuous carvilinear capsular axis with a tag at 4 o'clock. 
but it doesn't matter at all. We have got an adequate sized rexis that is the biggest achievement. See the fibrous anterior capsule comes out. And now I rotate the nucleus with the Simco itself, aspirate some cortex. And now the nucleus is to be managed. The FECO machine that we are going to use in this case is Faro's from Oatley, Switzerland. I am in FECO 2 mode which is high vacuum, high flow rate mode. Uh, I am going to divide the nucleus at on go by my technique which I call submarine job. So after dividing the heminucleus uh, a nucleus into two heminuclei uh, emulsified on heminucleus and this is the other heminucleus. The two fragments are not completely separate so I am using two hooks to separate the two fragments and now I use the FECO needle to emulsify these two pieces. Since there is no epinuclear sheet covering the posterior capsule and protecting the posterior capsule, we have to be very careful while emulsifying these last two pieces. At this time the ultrasonic power is 70 percent, flow rate is 40 ml per minute, vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury. I remove the chopper so that leakage from side port stops and the anterior chamber becomes more stable. At this time during emulsification of the last piece we can decrease the vacuum to very low level about 100 flow rate about 20 and emulsify this piece. If we decrease the vacuum to very low level the posterior capsule the chance of catching the posterior capsule decreases. Cortical cleanup is done with bimanual irrigation aspiration and this is IA2 the vacuum is very low about 50 and flow rate is 20 and I am with very low vacuum I am polishing the posterior capsule I am catching the cells which is over the posterior capsule and removing the cells. So this was a very challenging case particularly the uh, rexis part. Sometimes we may have to use vitreous scissors. In such cases when the fibrous sheet goes up to the equator. We have to use vana scissor, vitre scissor and make an opening and do FECO or SICS. This is polishing of the posterior capsule and when the posterior capsule is clean this is implantation of a uh, hydrophilic single piece monofocal intraocular lens in the capsular bag. Now see as I dial the lens 
see how beautifully the lens is centered so it is not necessary that you have to get a round axis for good centration of the intraocular lens very good centration can occur if we get a nice rexis which may not be round which may not be circular so femto second laser for capsular axis is okay for some cases for most of the cases it is not necessary and most of the people in the world cannot afford the cost of a femtosecond laser the antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients serve the mankind with love respect empathy and great surgical competence